thoughts I have been reflecting upon the relationship between man and forest. I should like to hear your opinion on... Fufuja, I'm back. Have you given any thought to my request? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't know you had a guest. Judging by your attire, I take it you're a botanist as well. I am sorry, but our situation is unchanged. I am afraid there are no botanists at present who can assist with your story. I won't make a burden of myself, I promise, says the animated maiden. I just need them to answer a few questions in their spare time. What about this adventurer here? She looks like a capable sort. Aurora. Well, she is certainly one of our best. But first things first, allow me to introduce you to Muji Meriwala, a reporter of the Raven. She is planning a series of articles for which she requests our guild's cooperation. Specifically, she would like to follow the doings of a first-rate botanist for an indefinite period of time. Alas, none among us who meet our stringent requirements can afford to engage her at present. None save for perhaps you, Aurora. Oh, my salvation has come, and her name is Aurora. What exciting adventures into botany she will take me on, I wonder. As to that, we have received a petition for aid from a faraway island. You will recall our dear friend and colleague, Rotalind, no I don't, who resides in the central islands of Curthus. Well, a friend of his is struggling to raise crops in the Ishgardian frontier, and he begs us and a botanist to aid him. The Ishgardian frontier, that sounds positively wild. I can already picture the title, Foreign Botanist at the Four Frontier. I've got a good feeling about this. I'll go on ahead to Reutland's place and ask him a few questions. She certainly wastes no time. Assuming you are willing to take on this task and bear with Muji, please pay Reutland a visit yourself and have the particulars from him. I have no doubt that you will gain much from the experience. For good measure, here is a letter of introduction. And in case you have forgotten, right line can be found at the Skyfire Locks. Good luck to you, Aurora. I think I might just turn the music off, to be perfectly honest. Because it's, it's kind of loud at times. The game feels a little bit empty now. I don't know. I suppose we'll decide later. sound effects now and it's not quite so invasive. This is the problem with not having recorded in a while. I can't remember the settings that I enjoyed. Okay. So we want to go to Curthus.
issue from the first. However, I have doubts whether Mistress Muji will be permitted to accompany you. Ah, okay, they do address that at least. You needn't worry. I have ways of getting into places, and I will get into Ishgard. See if I don't. That is well, I think. Now then, Basile has returned to the Holy See to meet with you. If it suits, I shall let him know to look for you at the Aetherite Plaza. At the Aetherite Plaza? Got it. I'll see you there, Aurora. such short notice. To begin with, I'd like to ask your advice on crops that would thrive in this environment. Right now, our principal crop is a strain of pumpkin native to these isles. With some experimentation, we've succeeded in cultivating it. Unfortunately, hardly anything else grows that's a viable food source. It has something to do with the ratio of wind to earth aspected ether up here. There's a much higher concentration of the former, you see, and hardly any of the latter. 
special greens are just about the only other thing that has worked out, and these aren't the same as what we have in Kurthas either. It may interest you to know that the seeds came to us from Gratania from the botanist guilds. Ritlin urged me to give them a try, and lo and behold, they cropped up like weeds. Strange things do happen, eh? But in the end, Kaishal greens are fit only for chocobos, and what little I'm managing to grow at the moment doesn't make up for the shortfall of supplies. If we're going to keep feeding the garrison, we need to find more crops that grow, and set about growing them as soon as possible, or soon we'll be at supping on we'll all be supping on bird fodder. And so I'd like to ask your opinion. In selecting a crop, what quality is the most critical? Oh my lord. Hardiness to gold. I see, in that case we might try our luck with onions. That reminds me, after I spoke with recently mentioned having seen wild onions in the Dravanian forelands. Cyclops onions they're called, and I fancy our chances of cultivating them. If we succeed, they would make a welcome addition to our rations. I'd be grateful if you could gather and bring me ten bulbs of I'd be grateful if you could gather and bring me ten bulbs of the best specimens you can find. See if I can remember how to be a botanist at this level. So I can't see any um, any onions. So I have to use my new move. Wherever it's gone. Uh, oh no! I get this move from doing this.
and this is basically how botany works. You um, you find nodes, and then you pick what you want from the node, and then you harvest it. It's great. So there's some more Cyclops onions there. This is only 15% chance of high quality. I can't believe that with a 50% chance to get a high quality onion, I only ended up getting two of them. It's very irritating.
a curse. Maybe this is a cursed quest. I'm just not able to get any more high quality onions. I'll just spend the rest of my game. Yes, see, 
high quality ones sell for a reasonable amount of money each. <laughs> but probably not enough to be uh, worth my time to get them. There are better ways to make money. Ah, gosh. I'd hope this had sold. I just remember what I put in my retainers to sell. Oh, that was a lot of money. <laughs> Gosh, some interesting things have sold. That was a, <laughs> a nice lot of money. Anyway. Thanks for watching.